Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Today's message is for everyone and it's for September 28, 2022. Let us begin. I would love to know what are the most, the most important impact. We have the page of wands that shows someone new is entering your life, someone wonderful. And let's see the second matter that will impact your life. For everybody. Okay, so we have the five of wands, which is all about conflict. It shows someone new is coming in your life, someone wonderful, and there is conflict. Conflict means there is some sort of disagreement, some sort of um, issues that need uh, resolving. So, of course, I will clarify it later on. Let's see what else. I'm going to take the um, sacred uh, forest and see one card. Protection. It seems like there might be a need for protection, especially because of the Five of Wands, the conflict. So um, it looks like to me that protection is needed. It looks like that it could be involving families. Um, it could be involving relationships. Uh, this could be because of someone that's entering in your life, someone that you might start having feelings for, someone that you want to start a life with. There might be a, a new idea that's been presented you need protection, but the universe is showing, the divine is showing that protection is going to be supplied and given to you, so you don't have to worry. That That's really wonderful. Um, I feel like uh, that there are some transformations taking place. Now let's see, we need a little bit more cards. Uh, what else is there? Okay, we have the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is all about expansion and rewards coming in your life. There, there are going to be rewards for a job well done. You are going to achieve important, um, important matters that you have been planning. Your plans are going to be now coming to fruition, coming to a realization, and the universe has got your back here, showing that you are going to move forward uh, um, into progress. The second card, oh wow, we have justice. This is all about you having justice uh, prevail for you. Everything is going to be done well. Um, there's, there's going to be some sort of fairness and some sort of honorable um, justice coming your way. Uh, a lot of things are going to be in your favor. So if somebody's done the wrong thing by you, uh, you are going to um, have everything in your favor. Uh, the justice also is about putting an end to conflict, which was the Five of Wands. We're taking two more cards. I'm going to shuffle for two more cards, and then I will do the clarifications. Oh wow, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is really wonderful. This shows that there is a major change, a very wonderful change in your money. Your finances will be escalating. Some money is coming to you where you will be thinking what to do, how to invest, and um, how to move forward. But it is fantastic. It is a wonderful card of progress and financial freedom. The next card. Okay, we have the um, Nine of Cups, which is all about a proposal or a proposition, someone wonderful. Now, this could be in link to the page of um, Wands, where I said somebody new might be coming in your life, someone could be proposing an idea. Now, this proposition can be a proposal of love, somebody new, falling in love, someone wanting to get to know you, spending time with you, wants to, you know, really wants to know who you are and, you know, start dating you, getting to know you. That's one way... Um, one meaning to the uh, Nine of Cups, and the other meaning is that there could be a proposal that is going to be so spectacular that it's going to be branching out and um, bringing you abundance, and that's why we've got the Seven of Pentacles there. 
So it could be a proposal of money where there could be a job that's going to bring you money uh, or an opportunity that's going to bring you finances are going to be dramatically changing to heights, extreme heights and rise in your money. So a proposal uh, or a proposition, either way. Now, now I will clarify the page of bonds to see. Two cards. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, and the Three of Cups, celebrations. So this new beginning, the Ace of Wands, represents an incredible new beginning. One could be a, a love matter for some of you, meeting the one, meeting the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And the Ace of Pentacles shows also could be a project, a proposal that will bring you abundance. That's why the Seven of Pentacles is there, money is coming. So. Um, um, that's why we've got the Seven of Pentacles, yes. Uh, a new project that's going to give you abundance. And of course, the Three of Cups is about celebration. A celebration, the conclusion of a matter, the ending of a matter, and something, you know, promotion perhaps, something wonderful uh, is going to be worth celebrating. You are going to be quite happy. Happy for families also. The Three of Cups is connected to happiness for families, happiness in um, in business, happiness in relationships, and absolute incredible happiness coming and celebrations. Now what I'm going to do is clarify the protection. Let's see what the protection is all about and what the divine wants you to know. We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Death card. Now, the protection shows that there is someone, um, the Queen of Souls is about someone helping you with the truth. Someone that is quite experienced is going to support you and help you and advise you what the best course of action is to get the protection you need. No matter in what area of your life, whether it's your money, your business, uh, your um, love life, there is going to be advice. The death card is also about an ending, something that was worrying you is going to come to an end, something that's been uh, sort of prolonging and causing you, causing the need for protection, that might come to an end. So you won't be really needed, uh, you, won't, you won't really need to be protected. So an ending, and that's why you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning. Okay. So the protection, you will be getting the right advice and support. Now, finally, we are going to clarify the Five of Wands just to see what that conflict is all about. I'm taking two cards. We have the Hermit and we have... And we have the Knight of Pentacles. I'm just trying to think... Um, both of these two together. The Hermit shows something that you've been really um, worrying about and questioning and doing soul searching about. You are finally going to reach your goal with the, um, the Knight of Pentacles and the conflict is going to come to an end because um, finally you are going to have the truth with the Hermit. It will show you the light, soul searching and also everything else in your reading shows that you will reach your goal with the Pentacles, uh, the um, the Nine of Pentacles shows that you are going to reach your your goal. You are going to achieve what you want. Your hard work is going to pay off, and there is going to be someone that's going to be very supportive, someone very dependable, someone you can depend on that's going to be helping you actually resolve this conflict. So, so and plus also with the um, Nine of Pentacles shows that there was money. Money could also be the the source of the end of the end of conflict. And that is the Five of Wands. That's truly wonderful. Now we are going to go to the um, the Angel Love Cards and see what the Divine wants you to know. And we're taking two cards. We have a retreat and letting go of controlling issues. So, okay, letting go of controlling issues uh, shows to me that there are situations where you need to let go. Perhaps the Five of Wands is in regard to that, the, the actual um, conflict card, because it shows that 
you know, if you were dealing with someone controlling, you should let go of um, of a person like that. If there are controlling matters in your life and issues, you are um, letting go. And I feel like there is something that's unfolding naturally. Just let go. Let, letting go and not trying to control situations is going to help you um, uh, finally reach to a, a resolution. And by letting things unfold naturally, uh, you won't need to um, use controlling. Some, some situations do become out of people's hands. So um, if you are dealing with someone controlling, it's time to let go. There might be someone new coming or there might be advice on how to proceed, especially um, with the Queen of Souls being in your reading. It shows that, you know, um, somebody might be advising you on how to remove someone or a situation that is to do with controlling issues. And the other one is really wonderful because it shows that uh, there is ha happiness, um, there is a romantic time coming with someone. It could be the page of wands down here, the person that's coming in your life, uh, where you might be meeting someone wonderful, they want to take you out on a romantic date or want to take you on a sort of retreat together, a trip away, uh, a lover's uh, sort of get together and going somewhere. Uh, together spending quality time wanting to be alone and really getting to know you, which is absolutely excellent now we will see what the chinese cookies will tell us we're going to take two cards two messages for the collective we have health and declutter so let's talk about health first an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. So there will be new friendships and your health needs your attention now. You need to pay attention by exercising, dieting and maintaining your health. That's what the divine wants you to know. And the second thing, second message is declutter. Declutter your life by letting go of anything that's no longer working, such as correspondence, objects, People that are no longer wanted, um, you sort of uh, uh, get rid of them in a way or remove them. That's decluttering. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. So somebody is going to reveal a part of them which you won't really like. And um, again, it's decluttering, letting go of this person, uh, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. That's the message from the divine. So that is really the end of your reading. But before I go, don't forget, the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles both show that there is a new beginning that is, um, and the Seven of Pentacles shows that there is a new beginning that is going to give you prosperity it's going to change your life, a dramatic change in your life, your love life, your life, your money life, your finances, freedom, and happiness coming your way, not to, not to mention justice, justice and rewards, and the celebration of the Three of Cups, which is wonderful, it shows that you will be concluding something wonderful, it's going to come to an end, and you will be so happy, or it could be a new promotion, a new business that's going to give you abundance, or a new relationship that's going to give you happiness, that you are going to be celebrating with your friends and loved ones. And with that, I do um, would like to wish you all the uh, best of wishes, and good day to you all.